Hi, I'm Peter Birch. Today, I think we're gonna feed some of these pygmy monitors. That's right, pygmy monitors. These guys have got a lot of aggression and a lot of spirit for their tiny little size. I hope you guys enjoy today's show. And in fact, guys, if you're new to the show, thanks for finding me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification button to continue to join the adventure. So let's get down to it and feed these little tiny terrors. So what are we doing today? Well, we're gonna feed some pygmy monitors. These guys have got so much aggression and so much spirit really for such a small monitor. And that's why I love them so much. And in fact, guys, as you know, we're expanding our little collection here. We're increasing some of the cages for some of these little monsters so that they um, get a nicer, nicer little lifespan. Check these out. This is where they're living right now. And as you can see, they're waiting for some delicious little tucker. That's right, and uh, as we all know, these guys absolutely love to eat things that move quickly. And in fact, these are Varanus primordius, that's right. So these particular little monitors, as you can see, <laughs> pretty cool, aren't they? Check that out, look at that. You can't say that's not cute. So he's getting ready for something to eat, so um, let's give him some tucker. Check that out, that's pretty awesome. I love the little guys. Now, um, what's really cool about these particular species is their temperature zones that they prefer. And I mean, we've gone over it a few times, but I can't say it enough how much I love these little monsters. I mean, they just shoot out from under those hides there and grab some taco while, they, while you least expect it. I mean, absolute great little monsters. I mean, we're using some nice lights at the moment. These lights here, we're getting about 45 degrees Celsius under these lights, and we need to bump those temperatures up a bit. So what I'm doing is I'm reducing the height of the cages down to the slimline cages so that I can get those temperatures up. We're basically gonna be moving everything from here into the smaller cages down here, or low profile. It's exactly the same floor space, just low profile. So the ceiling comes down, which means the UV light gets closer. High output lights, which means that UV light that's really essential for these particular desert species is going to be really high, but only for a short period of time, so you don't need it on all day long, regardless what everyone thinks. You only need it for a couple of periods during the day, in other words, in the morning and then late evening, we're going to give them a blast of that high output UV light, and these guys are going to be enjoying some nice temperatures around about 55 degrees. Now check that out, he's really getting stuck into it right there, that little tiger. We've talked about this particular species a few times before about environmental enrichment as well as cage sizes and caging and temperatures and all the rest of it but I mean they've absolutely everyone loves pygmy monitors I mean what can I say they've come back into flavor recently because some of the big stuff can be a little bit scary to keep and it's really not for everyone and the pygmy monitors really have come back in a really big way especially in the Australian hobby and you can see why I mean Great little setups, great little mini uh, ecosystems basically, and these guys will do really, really well in them. And they're such a joy to watch and so adventurous. I mean, look, here comes, there's one right now having a bit of a feed again. Aren't they just absolute gorgeous little things? And yeah, they can be a little bit difficult to get a hold of and all the rest of it and to obtain, but when you do get them guys, man, you gotta treasure every little bit about them find out as much information as you can about them. Sorry, I'm just closing the cages up. But like I said, these guys are gonna be moving into these smaller low profile enclosures, therefore enabling me to get those temperatures up a little bit higher is where I want them for breeding purposes. And also I can do all sorts of cool stuff. Now, um, live food, you know, we always have a problem getting live food, like everyone across the world. So um, they just love their tucker and they can give them a good variety of you know, insects and maybe some chopped up pinkies and a little bit of mints, you know, dusted with calcium powders and multivitamins and all the rest of it. Good balanced diet is always the way to go. I hope you enjoyed today's show. It's something a little bit different, I know, guys, but just make sure you give me a like and thanks so much for watching Critter Cam. Till next time, guys. Thank you.